All right. It is a beautiful day here in Hawaii. And I think it's time to go do a gun review. All right, let's go do a gun review on the uh, Colt AR-15 SP-1 slab side. And we already safety checked this so it's empty. You don't have to worry about a, a bullet being in there. We checked it off camera. Okay, what you're looking at here is a 1975 era Colt AR-15 SP-1. A classic. And it is owned by my father-in-law, Nestor. And he is the proud owner of this classic AR-15, which is probably worth over $1,000 today. How much did you pay for it again? It was uh, $275 at the time. Woo! Plus uh, $90 for the scope. <laughs> okay, these sights here, these are the carry handle sights. And some people don't like these because they're old, you know, they're... 40 years old and they like the lightweight backup iron sights that flip up um, which are nice because they're compact and light and you can add optics and all that good stuff but these are still very good the the upside to having these old sights is that they're, they're built like tanks if you put this gun in the back of your truck and put gear on top of it most likely you're not going to damage these sights at all they're not going to shift like um, flip up sights would do so don't count these out these old sights with the uh, carry handle they may be big and heavy and bulky but they won't be going anywhere anytime soon they're very rugged and very durable and as you can see here the rear aperture it has that bullet style where you have to take the tip of a bullet and push that uh, that detent in to adjust the windage and the older ones like this um, are only adjustable for windage uh, on the newer ones they'll have a knob here on the bottom for elevation and one on the side for windage so a little bit older, it's unique, it's retro, but still very viable and uh, combat effective for sure. The nice thing about this one, if you look close, and this scope is actually made by Colt. And he bought this, this scope the same time he bought the gun. Look at that, it says Colt right on the top. Low power, 3 by 20 And uh, it's very nice. And the nice thing about these scopes is that they're very solid because they sit inside a channel on the handle and they lock down tight so you don't lose your zero when you take it off. Alright, so like I said it has a full size non-adjustable buttstock. It's the solid buttstock which is nice for a butt stroking if you had to hit somebody with your buttstock. You can't do that with a collapsible buttstock. It's got the a1 style grips which is the original style grips there's no nub here on the uh, A2 and the uh, newer ones you'll see uh, like a little finger nub here this one's nice and smooth still has the uh, removable trigger guard you just tap that that roll pin out if you want to take it out and as you can see here it's got the roll mark and the pony it says Colt AR-15 that's what you're looking for right there if you want a traditional genuine Colt that's money right there and then it says right there 223 model SP1 that's the civilian version so it's chambered in 223 not 556 and uh, basically that means you should run 223 caliber ammo through this gun not 556 military but uh, you could do that but they don't recommend it just because there is um, minute differences in the ammo size but I won't get into that right now Again, like I said, it has the triangle handguards with the vents on the top. For you old school guys out there who like the uh, old school Vietnam style. It's very cool. I like how it tapers down. Some people like the way it feels in your hand. Just because it matches your grip a little bit better. Some people say. Solid A-frame front sight with adjustable uh, elevation. Uh, what you call it? The front sight post right there pretty standard the front sight has a bayonet lug right there so you can mount a bayonet do you have a bayonet for this nope. no ah, too bad <laughs> it'd be nice <laughs> and then it has a 20 inch chrome line barrel as you can see it has a a1 style birdcage flash suppressor slash muzzle brake and what that basically means is there's vents that go all the way around the uh, muzzle brake uh, the A2 models and newer ones will have a solid piece on the bottom which forces the expending gases to go up and push your muzzle down. So they changed that a little bit down the road. 
but still very nice. Okay, if you look at the barrel here, it says MP Chrome Bore. And basically what that means is uh, M MP stands for Magnetic Particle Inspected, and uh, which is checking for micro, micro cracks from the factory when they test it, which means it's good to go. And Chrome Bore just means it's Chrome Line for uh, corrosion uh, resistance. And since this gun lives in Hawaii, Chrome Lining comes in really handy because you don't want this thing to rust. And as you can see, it's not rusted at all, so he took really good care of it. He oils it every other year, probably, and keeps it in really good condition. So as you'll notice on the uh, old Colt SP1s from the 70s, they don't have a forward assist. At least some models don't. They call it the slab side, so there's no forward assist on these. So it's kind of cool. This one has a carry handle that's integrated into the upper receiver. You cannot remove it. And if you look close at the uh, rear sight, you have to use a bullet tip to adjust for uh, windage. So, kind of cool, kind of retro. The newer ones will have a knurled um, knob that you can adjust for windage and elevation. It'll be a, a knob on the bottom and a knob on the side. This one's just for windage only. But it does have the aperture for uh, long distance and short distance, which you can't really see because the scope's on there. Alright, something to notice on this uh, old AR-15. It has a push pin in the back, but in the front it has a screw, like a bolt, that you cannot push. So this one doesn't come completely off as easy as the newer ones. Um, it'll still open up for cleaning, but you just can't push this out without taking out that screw. See, as you can see here, you can open it up for cleaning, but you can't take it off, at least not easily. It's got a flathead type screw in there. All right, let's look at the bolt. This is the Colt SP-1 bolt from the 70s. And as you can see, it's cut in the sporter style. If this was a full auto bolt, that rear cut here where my thumb is would be way back here. It would be even with the top cut. But as you can see, it goes all the way back like that. So that's a like a sporter civilian style bolt. And then the gas key screws. I guess you could say those are staked. And they're staked fairly well. I don't know if that's mill spec staked, but they are definitely staked on both sides to keep them from backing out over over you know years of vibration. So I don't know if you call that properly staked, mill spec staked, but it's definitely staked. So that's a good thing. Okay, this is the uh, Colt SP-1 bolt from the 70s, and as you can see, it has like a metal O-ring on there. Alright, since we're going shooting today, you have to make sure your bolt is really wet with oil. Generously wet, just for reliability. If you go when it's dry, the uh, O-rings can... Uh, start to freeze up and the gun will start to malfunction so always run your AR-15 with a wet bolt lots of oil is always good and there's the hammer of the Colt SP-1 from the 70's you can see it's notched and there's a shot of the buffer and it doesn't have any markings on it like H1 or anything like that it's before they started doing that it's just your uh, rifle length buffer. Here's the lower receiver and uh, normally on the fire select lever that would have like a little cut on it but this one doesn't have a cut marking on it that says fire and safe. It's just clean. Over here he has 20 round aluminum magazines and two of these magazines have aluminum followers which is nice. And then the other two have plastic followers. So, older magazines, but still very good. He's got the 30 rounders over there too, but we're just going to bring the 20 rounds, the 20 rounders to the range. All right, so that's the Colt AR-15 SP-1. We're going to go shoot it today. Have some fun.
And he's out. <laughs>